What is up Shark Army, it's your boy Shark and welcome back to another video. Today is very exciting and strange at the same time because we're jumping back into my main save file which we are in year 32, this is my first ever save file I started on Stardew Valley back when it got released and I created a little mini series of me trying to 100% complete this because I have never done that since I've had this save file. I used it so long for videos and crazy projects and never really focused on the game itself. So there is still quite a few things to do and I'm trying to 100% complete this game. I want to do everything. Get the max hearts with everybody, which as you can see we are very close other than a few more people we're very close with that. I want to do all of the collections which as you can see also we have done. There's one fish to catch which which is the legend and we can actually do that in this season because we're in spring. We've done all the artifacts, we've completed the museum, we we'll still need a few more recipes and things to cook to complete the cooking collection and of course the achievements, we have still got four more to get. We are very close to getting 100% guys and that's what this series is all about. If you've been following along you'll know what this is and you've been watching all of the other episodes, this is part 7 I believe, so there will be a playlist down below if you do want to follow along and watch from the beginning. But it has been a couple of months since I've made a new episode for this because obviously 1.5 update got dropped I've been doing loads of other videos other playthroughs I've had other projects so this has kind of been on the back burner but we're back into it today I'm excited so like I said we are in spring now in the last episode if you did watch this a uh, little mini series you would have noticed that we was in winter but there wasn't much to do in winter anyway so I'm kind of glad we're in spring now uh, oh yeah also I've decorated this farm completely because I've got a farm tour video coming out so shh, no sneak peeks now obviously with this beautiful save end game file we can use the horse flute we can drink loads of espresso get a good speed boost we have got everything we need and it's so amazing and we're 71% complete it's actually quite low now I think when we first started this we must have been on like 50 or 60 so we have gone up a bit we've done quite well as you can see the things that we need to do is do the monster slayer challenge which we're still working on the friends obviously is only on 85% we need to find all of the star drops the last one is the fishing one when we get the legend fish we'll get the last one and that's going to boost the percent up quite a lot and the crafting recipes is the one that is so low and there are still seven more golden walnuts to find which yeah i was gonna save till last that's what i think what we're gonna finish on so there we go guys we're not doing too bad but there's other things i want to do like i said not just on here for example all of the collections and things like that the achievements they aren't on here but i still want to do that and uh, complete everything in the game so legend fish spring let's go and get it guys I'm going to get back home and we're going to get prepared for this because this is one of the, well, this is the hardest fish to catch and we're going to need quite a few things to help us. And one of them is going to be this. Sea foam pudding gives us a plus four fishing on the skill. That's going to be incredible. That's going to help us so much. Oh yeah, and <laughs> you haven't noticed, we have got this mask on. I was decorating the farm, I was messing around with a few things and I saw this mask. Obviously it's Concerned Ape himself, this is his little logo. And we've got him on the face, look at this, this is amazing. We love him so much, we're going to represent him on this little series for the rest of it. Don't ask me how you get this, I have no idea. Now we have got some equipment on the rod, we have enchanted it to get Horta Wook. So uh, obviously when a, fi when a fish bites I don't have to click it, it's just going to do it automatically. We've got loads of wild bait and we've got a little fishing tackle there, I'm not sure what that one is but it don't seem like it's got much uh, durability on it, so we might have to craft another one. And the one we was using is the trap bobber, so it uh, causes the fish to escape slower when you aren't reeling them in, which don't seem too bad. We need copper and sap for that, so I'm going to do that, guys, and we're going to go and get this legendary fish towards the collection one step closer to completing. I can't wait. This is going to be so exciting. Now, I have just realized it needs to be raining in order to catch this, uh, this fish, and I think, if I'm right, we have a rain totem. So we could force a day of rain tomorrow. Oh, there we go. I actually have two already. I thought we did. So let me use the rain totem right now. That should be raining tomorrow. We can get straight to sleep and try and hunt this fish down. And here we go. The next day, get our coffee. Let's check Queen of Sauce rerun because we still need some recipes. Complete breakfast. We already know how to cook this one. We're just going to have to keep checking that because, like I said, there is two recipes that I have missed if you uh, aren't up to date with this. We've got the chocolate cake recipe that we need to find and unlock through the cooking station. And then it's this one here. I want to say Lucky Lunch. I think it might be the Lucky Lunch, which is also one that we've missed on the cooking channel. So we need to keep waiting for the reruns. And, yeah, hopefully we do find it. So I'm ready. I've got the Iridium Rod. We've got everything we need. Let's go up to the mountain and try and catch this legend fish. Right, horsey, you stay there. We won't be too long. So I believe you can just go here. 
and fish towards this like log here I'll zoom out and that is where we should be able to get it uh, in spring in the rain which we are just double checking there is no time limit so we've got all day for this fish I believe and yeah I think we can just cast here as far as we can and try and get it guys so uh, bear with me I forgot to use the sea foam pudding that might help a lot let's do this how long is this gonna last hopefully enough time for us to find one Four minutes, uh, three minutes and 30 seconds, okay. We've only got one, so come on. Please, legend, pop up. Oh, we've run out of a tackle. Okay, hopefully this isn't the legend because we've just run out of the tackle. Okay, we're good, we're good. So let's put this back on the rod. There we go, we've got a new one. I don't know why I'm using that one. I'm hoping it helps a lot. Oh my God, here it is. Here it is, concentrate. Oh my God, he threw me off. Oh my God, what the hell was that? Oh my God. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I was not prepared for that. Whoo! Okay, he was fast. I was getting so many fish and he, w he just wasn't there. I didn't find him once and then I just did not <laughs> concentrate enough. So let's go again. There he is. Right, I'm ready this time. I know he's around. I know he's here. Don't you dare try and lose me this time, mate. I've got you this time. Wow, he is fast though. He is super fast. He's an angry one. He's having a bad day. He doesn't like the rain. It's alright, come into my fish tank, mate. You'll have a much better time. Come and live with me. Yes! And there we go. We got him. And the achievement, the master angler. We have caught every fish in the game. I think that's the first time I've ever caught the legend. So uh, what an achievement that is for me. Whew. That was a massive battle. I can see why he's the legend. That is the hardest fish to catch in the game. There's no doubt about it. Obviously the octopus and things like that are quite difficult to catch as well, but this was super tough. <sighs> Luckily we had the fishing skill. I think it ran out. I don't, I'm not even sure halfway through. Uh, that tackle helped as well. So when the legend was trying to escape, it wasn't as crazy. The bar didn't go down as much. And there we go, guys, that is done. So we have got all of the legendary fish, but not just that, every fish in the game has been caught. Now there is one thing else we can do with the fish though. I believe over on Ginger Island, you can actually get the different legendary fish. So it's like the, the Legend 2 version 2, a different version of them over on Ginger Island, which, you know, eventually we will go and do as well. That'd be quite nice to, to see and finish in the game. But over on this side, in Pelican Town, we've got all of them, guys. That is amazing. So we're going to go and put this beauty of a fish inside our fish tank with the rest of the legendary fish. And we don't no longer have to focus on that. We can start focusing on other things. And that's going to actually boost us up quite a lot because we got the achievement too, the fishing one. Catch every fish in the game, the master angler. The achievement has been complete, so that's not bad at all. We just need to cook every recipe. We just need to do the help wanted, which I'm going to go and check now. There's nothing here. And then, of course, craft every item, which is going to be quite annoying because we've got... I don't even know which ones I've already crafted in the game, so I'm going to have to go through every single one of them with some kind of chest system. So every time you craft it, put it in a chest so you know which one you've done. Until we get the achievement, it's going to be quite annoying, but I'm so glad we got the legendary fish. All complete, and the legend himself. Whew, that was super tough, but I'm so glad. So here they are, guys, as you can see. In this side here, we have got the crimson and the angler. And there he is. The legend is in there with them. And on this side here, we have got uh, the mutant carp, the glacier fish, and for some reason... These two are in there, and they're not even legendary, so I'm not sure what's going on there. We've got Mr. Blobfish down there, looking awesome. But there we go, the legendary fish in my two aquariums, in my little storage room here. We've got a, a little couch that you can sit down and look. We can look at the fish, watch them. I could watch fish in the tank all day long. That is incredible, guys. We've done so well there. So I'm actually going to go to sleep, get rid of this day. I'm going to check for help wanted, and uh, also we've got folks on gifts as well, right? I might have to do that now. Got to keep up to date with these. Clint needs one more heart along with Pierre. Now, Clint, I'm not sure what he like. Which one? We've been giving him artichoke dip, but I'm not sure. Which, I don't think we've got any artichoke, because that's the problem. Oh, we do. Nice. No worries. We can make a few of those. And fried calamari, Pierre loves that. So those two are perfect. We can go and give them one today, because all the, the hearts have reset. The dwarf is loving emeralds and omnigeodes and things like that. We need some pink cake or cranberry candy for Vincent. Uh, I'm not sure if we've got any of that. Never mind, we've got one pink cake here. Maybe he can go and have that. At least it's one thing, right, for him. He loves grapes as well, which I think we might actually have quite a lot of. Do we not have any grapes? Well, I don't believe it. We don't. 
I'm just trying to find gifts for everybody. Jazz, uh, fairy rose, and plum pudding. Okay, so I can make a few of those. Also, cranberry candy. We said that um, Vincent loves those as well, right? Yeah, so we can uh, give him some of those as well. Now, Leo is someone else we need to focus on. Now, this is one character I've never looked up on Wiki to find out what he loves. I'm trying to find this out myself. So we gave him a fiddlehead fern, which he kind of likes. But I'm not sure what else he loves or likes just yet. Like I said, I was guessing maybe some of the new tropical items like the bananas or the mangoes or something like that that we could maybe give to him. So we have got a few of these. So I'm just going to give them to, to Leo and see what he likes and just, you know, keep trying. Maybe even like a pineapple or something. Oh no, we've already gave him a pineapple and this is normal. So he does not like those. And he dislikes ice cream. So let's put the pineapple back and we'll try the banana and the mango. So let's go and give some gifts, guys. I was going to end the day. But you know what, we may as well take advantage of this and start working on those relationships as well as the other things that we need to do. You don't need to worry, Pam. We've already sorted you out. You are at Max Hearts. You love us now. You used to hate us, but not anymore. So let's maybe go into Pierre's shop first. Oh, it's Wednesday. Oh, no, 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 it's not closed. You will open seven days a week. It used to close on Wednesdays until you shut down Joja. What a bonus that is. Let's go and speak to him first of all. A word of warning. My daughter really hates clay. Just the thought of it can make her depressed. Really? So you like or love fried calamari so there we go this is my all-time favorite thank you i'm hoping you're on 10 hearts now please be on max hearts i want you to be over and done with pierre oh not just yet not just yet okay we need to go over to speak to clint now but he's going to be closed so he might pop over to the saloon later and then we need to speak to vincent and jazz as well hmm let's go and say hello to them i can hear slimes how are you guys still alive Okay, so Vincent is here. Let's go and speak to him. I want to look for bugs, but mum gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. <laughs> so you like pink cake, so we'll give you this first. Wow, thank you so much. This is terrific. You're welcome, buddy. Look at that. Vincent's doing well. He's on six hearts. Only four more to go with you, mate. Now I need to find Jazz. It's raining, so she might be at home. Obviously, she lives with Marnie and Shane. There she is. Uh, Aunt Marnie won't let me go out after six o'clock. It's not fair. So you want a plum pudding? Oh Wow, thank you. Oh My god, <laughs> she's laughing because we've got the May shorts on. I forgot about that <laughs> Oh, That's amazing. So all we need to do is speak to uh, Leo today. We'll go and find him I'm not sure if it's too late for that But also we need to go and speak to Clint And that's everyone done for today Emily wants some crystals. What does she want? I'm gonna accept this. I don't know if I'm not sure if these go towards Oh, deliver a ruby. We've got all of those. That's pretty easy. I'm hoping those requests go towards the actual achievement as well. Or is it just the standard ones? I'm not sure. But it would be quite nice to to do those as well. I'm just waiting for Clint to maybe come down to the saloon. I know he normally comes quite late, about what, 7 or 8 p.m. I'm hoping we can bump into him. We'll go and speak to Leo, the the parrot boy, tomorrow. We'll go to the Ginger Island to speak to him. But yeah, we're just waiting on Clint. I'm hope hoping he comes today. We could maybe go back to the farm and get the crystals for Emily while she's here at work. So let's see what she needs again. Um, Ruby, Topaz, Emerald, and Jade, and an Amethyst. Okay, let's do it. I think we've got plenty of those in my storage chest here. Hopefully, we don't have to find them. Can we just give her one that we've already got? <laughs> so she wants uh, a Ruby, a Jade, an Emerald, Topaz, and an Amethyst, right? Use our speed quickly. Triple shot espresso and a stallion. What more could you ask for? Speed. And hopefully when we get there, Clint's turned up as well. Two birds, one stone. And here he is. Look at that. Perfect timing. A say hello. Oh, hi, Chris. Sorry if I look a little messy. I've been working at the furnace all morning. So did you need anything or did you just want to visit? Uh, I have got the artichoke dip for you. Yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. You're welcome, mate. He's still on nine hearts as well. Very close, guys. A few more of those artichoke dips and we should be absolutely perfect. Right, Emily, I've got your diamonds and gems and minerals and everything for you. Uh, do we just have to give them to you? How do we do this? Deliver a ruby to Emily. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go, we did it guys. We've got a thousand gold too. And I'm hoping that goes towards, like I said, the help request. Um, achievements. 40 help wanted. 
I'm not sure if it's the same kind of thing, but it, it's a different kind of board, isn't it? It's bigger, but is it, is it still help wanted? I'm not sure. It's kind of different, so it might not go towards, but oh well. So I'm going to go back to the farm, guys. We're going to sleep and get started on the next day, and we've got quite a few stuff to do. Hopefully we can tick off some more help wanted, and we're going to speak to Leo, do the second lot of gifts to everybody, and see where we're at, and then we can start doing some crafting as well. It's raining again. God damn. Okay, so let's get started with the day. Start off the day with a nice coffee, even though I don't like coffee in real life, but you know, it's a godsend in this game. I love that speed. So first of all, should we go straight over to Ginger Island? And sort out Leo, I think this might be a good idea. So let's go. Hopefully we can find him somewhere. Ooh, some wormies. Wild bait, Oh wow, that's amazing. There's quite a few over here, look at this. Omni Geode as well. And a dirty crab. It's probably inside his treehouse, right? Oh look, one of the gem birds is here. Nice. So let's go and see if he's inside his little treehouse here. Uh, there he is. Let's go and talk to him. Have you met the others like you? I don't talk to them much. I feel safer with my own kind. Right, so let's maybe try a banana first. I accept your gift. Oh, he doesn't love it, guys. He still didn't love it. So it's not his favorite, as you can see. It's just a normal gift, so it's not too bad. I'm just trying to find out. I know I could search this up, or you guys could tell me what he loves, but I'm trying to find out myself, because this is the whole fun in playing this game, right? Trying to find out what the NPCs like and love, just like we did with the other NPCs in the game. So, you know, we'll try tomorrow. We'll give him the mango. I'm trying to give him some of the things that is, you know, that are natural on this island that he's used to. So, maybe a coconut. I wonder if he likes a coconut. Or a taratuba. He could like that. Now, I could give him a mixed seed as well. Because he's like, he thinks he's a parrot, right? <laughs> he might love those. Parrots eat seeds. There's two golden walnuts hidden in the west. Okay. So, that is towards our house, right? Well, our beach house or island house, whatever you want to call it. So they're going to be somewhere over here, guys, and I don't know where. I'm pretty sure I've got all of the ones over on this side. All the ones in these little spots here we've already got. We'll have to come back to this because I'm not quite sure where those two are. But like I said, that's going to be towards the end anyway when we focus on that. So what I want to do... Oh, where's, my, where's my horse gone? Flute! Oh, he's, he's right here. <laughs> We're going to go to the Help Wanted, see if any more requests are here. I want to try and get that achievement done now. Try and complete 40 out wanted. Obviously, we'll do the rest of the gifts as well. And look, there's one here for us. Perfect. Clint, he wants 40 copper ore. So I think we've actually got to go and mine them, right? Collected. Yeah, we need to go and collect them. So it looks like we're going up to the mines, guys, and trying to find 40 copper ore. What a boring quest. I hate this one. But it shouldn't be too hard, especially with uh, the tools and equipment and things like that we've got. We should find 40 pretty easy. So let's get it done. And here we are, just like that. So copper is on the first few floors, right? So we can just maybe go to 10 onwards and try and find them. Look, there we go. Just what we needed. And we're getting quite a few copper ore from one. Oh, we also need to do the uh, Monster Slayer Challenge as well. I need to try and find out which uh, which monsters we still need to slay. So we need to go and check uh, check out that as well. Got a few more there. Luckily, the slimes and everything die so quick. Wow, we've just found the ancient seed from a bug. What a good drop that is. Very rare. And there we go, our last one. We've got to talk to Clint, that request is done. It took us all day. I'm not sure if we can get to the saloon. Is he still going to be there? If he is there, that is. But um, we did it. And here he is. Let's talk to him. Quest complete, journal updated. And that's another one done. Still not the achievement. So we're still quite uh, well away. We need 40. I'm not sure what we're on, but <laughs> we've got to be close now. So I'm going to get back home, end this day, and start another one. I probably should have given him his gift whilst he was there. God damn it. What's what's he on? Yeah, he's still on nine. We'll go and do that tomorrow. That's not a problem. And thank God it's not raining. A nice day today. 
So the first thing I'm going to do again is go straight over to Ginger Island, talk to Leo, and we'll try and give him a different kind of gift this time. I want to try the mango, hopefully he likes that. We've tried the banana and the pineapple and he just likes those, he doesn't love them, it's a normal gift. But we want the loved ones, and that's what's going to help him get you know, the most amount of hearts. So here he is. So let's talk to him. Uh, one time I was at the top of the volcano at night, and I saw lights far, far away. I wonder if there are other bird families out there. <laughs> it's probably some kind of ships or something like that in the distance. So let's try the mango. Oh, yes, guys, he loves it. He loves the mango. I love this. I'm going to put it in my nest. Oh my god, that's amazing. So we've discovered one of his loved gifts. That's going to be a lot more easier for us to work on his, uh, his relationship, because as you can see, it's now here. And he also likes the fiddlehead fern. Oh, so, oh, the banana and the pineapple is not even a liked, it is a normal. So fiddlehead fern and uh, mango are the best two that we can give him. Not bad. I do still want to try the, the mixed seeds, you know. I feel like he might like those, I don't know why. But either way, that's decent. Wow, we've got loads of these to mine. So many mussels. Now, I know you can actually get some golden walnuts from these, right? Now, I think there's only a total of five you can get. I'm not sure how many I've already had before, but we might be able to find some, so let's keep mining them. Let's see. I might have already had those, but there's still two over here that we need to find. So I'm just trying anything right now to, <laughs> to find them. We have done the majority of them, as you can see. All these little puzzles and the hidden ones. And also, I've never killed these slimes. I wonder if these will give me one. I've normally just left these here. Ooh, dwarf scroll. Ginger. Okay, so they give you some good stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we found one, guys. Here, there's a patch of grass here. What about these two? No. I saw the patch of grass, and I was like, there's got to be one there. You can see little clues like that. And I've just noticed this, and there we go. That is another one done. Let's go. So does that mean there's only one more? I think there's only one more over this side, guys. I'm trying to think what it is. It's really bugging me. I just want to get it done. Hold on. Look at this. Have I already got this one? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, why did I never find that? I swear one of you guys commented on this uh, on the other episodes a while ago. Near the Parrot Express. And you just see this here. Why is this? Why is the gap in between? So there we go. I think we found all of these over on this side, right? There was two at the west. And I think that is all of those. I don't think that's too bad, guys. We've done quite well. So now I want to get back to the town and give uh, everybody a gift, check the help wanted, see what's going on. I'm glad I found two more golden walnuts though. That's progress that we need, right? Oh, something else has been um, added here to the help wanted. Willie wants three large mouth bass. Wow. And he wants us to actually catch them. Oh, okay, we're going to have to focus on that one quite fast, guys. We should be able to find them pretty easy. It's not quite hard, actually. Oh, there they are. This is who I want to speak to. Let's give you your gifts for the week, or the last one of the week. So you want cranberry candy. Wow, thank you so much, this is terrific. And you like plum pudding, right? Wow, thank you. Nice. That's two more gifts done for those guys. They're looking good, they're both now on the same hearts. Six. Leo's on three, not bad, so we just need to... Oh, the dwarf, of course. We need to go and give him a gift. And then there's Clint and Pierre, of course. Who we are still on nine hearts. Go on, I want to cross the bridge. Oh, god damn it, they're in the way. Let's see if Pierre's still open. We can maybe go and speak to him and give him his calamari. Fried calamari. We've, got, we've only got one left. Please be the one we need. I'm hoping that's the one that's got him to max hearts. No, still not. Oh my god. That is tight. We're going to have to give him something else. So maybe let's try and go and catch the free large mouth bass because we do need to do these help wanted it's so important so maybe i'm just going to do that for tonight we need to catch free i feel like we've only got till a certain time and i can't remember when it is i don't think they're a late time fish it might be 6 p.m oh hold on there's some bubbles right here i don't think we've got very long though we'll see if we can get a few i think the best chance of doing this is coming down very early in the morning and having a full day No luck so far, this is not good. Have we missed it? Was it 6 p.m.? Oh, maybe not, okay. We've still got one. It could be 7 p.m. Can we get two more? Oh, this might be another one. 
Or is it a chub? Oh my god, and there we go, guys. Oh my god, we actually got two because of the amazing wild bait. And look at that, we can return to uh, to Willy. We have got the wild bait there from Linus, the recipe. And there is a chance of getting two fish from one, which is incredible. And we've just done that with 10 minutes to spare. Because I think it's 7pm when the largemouth bass disappear and you can't catch them. So we need to speak to Willy. Will he be in here? There he is. And we did it. Another quest done. We got us paid as well. I still haven't got the achievement. <laughs> I wonder how many we're on. In the 20s, 30s? I'm not sure. But we'll play through one day and we'll see what we can do. Um, we'll have to do the remaining gifts. Because nothing's reset yet. So the only thing we can do is give Clint his last one. And that's it. Hold on. He might be coming to the saloon. So we could potentially give him it now. And then we can wait till Sunday for everything to reset. And he's here. Of course, we just missed him. Uh, so we speak to him. And then he likes the artichoke dip, right? Yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. So, are you on Max Hearts yet, please? Oh, he is! Finally! Thank God for that. Clint is on Max Hearts. We don't no longer have to give him any gifts or focus on him too much. That is incredible. So the only people we need to focus on is Pierre, but I think one more gift may get him to the Max Hearts. And then Dwarf, Vincent and Jazz. Is the Dwarf still up in the mines? Is he there all the time? We could go and give him his gift right now as well. Although we don't have anything for him. Omnigeodes, we've got three. Okay, let's go. I was going to end the day there, but I realised we've still got a few more things to do. And we've just been up here, so we could have done this a bit earlier. So let's see if he's still here. Can we still talk to him? Okay, it seems like we can. Uh, most humans fear the unknown. That's why I've hidden my shop here. So, Omnigeode... There we go. Hey, I really love this stuff. You can find great things in the mines. So that's another gift for him. He's happy. Your mining skills prove you're trustworthy. Okay. Lovely. So we can give him his last one tomorrow before it resets. We can't forget to do that. And then along with that, maybe we'll just try and do some crafting because we can't do any... There's not going to be any more help requests. I think we've already done those. We can't do any more gifts other than the dwarf. We could do some monster slay challenges. I might have a look at that and see whereabouts we are currently for that. Well, I was going to continue another day, but I'm going to end that one there, guys, because I've just noticed the time. I have to cut this one short. But in the next episode, we will continue this and we'll get other things done. We are doing very well. Today's actually been a good episode. We did get the last fish, the legendary, the one that we needed for the whole collection, which is very exciting. We've done a few more achievements as well. We've got the every fish, the master angler, and we are working towards the help wanted. Probably not far away. We've also been doing very good with the relationships. Clint is now Max Arts, joining everybody else, and there's just a few more that we need to focus on. And we found some more golden walnuts as well. Like I said, we're still focusing on the cooking, the crafting, the achievements for the help wanted, and the adventure guild, monster slayer challenges, and the rest of the golden walnuts. I think that's pretty much all we need to do. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see this little series and trying to watch me complete this farm and this save file to 100%, make sure you do let me know down below in the comments and give it all the support you can so I can continue this. It's very fun. It's a personal goal and an achievement of mine. I'd love to get this to 100%. It would be incredible. And then I'll be able to basically say I have completed Stardew Valley. That is going to be a dream. It's going to be amazing. Long awaited as well. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you all have a great day. Stay safe. And I will see you all on the next one.